Every single one of our students deserves an opportunity to be connected to the community and to be a meaningful contributor. We can do everything you guys can do. We just want to prove it to you guys that we are like everybody else. They are blessing our children with the future. into my world and she changed my name to mom <laughs> and I loved her from the moment I laid eyes on her but sometimes if you don't have mountain to climb you take life for granted they put her on a drug and in the morning Connie was not awake which was very unusual, so I panicked and rushed her to emergency, and he told me if she does come through, she will have brain damage because of the drug, and all I did was pray and cry to God by the bed. Don't care in what form she, you know, she'll come back, but I just want her back. They told me, Isabel, you need to have Connie checked. They did EKGs and they said, yeah, um, her brain was affected by the drug she took. She cannot retain memory. Sometimes we, we have trials where we think, I'm done, it's over. You know, I can't handle this. But something that looks like a mountain is actually an anthill. The Bellevue School District, along with at work, I think we do a great job of saying, it, the future's not as bleak as it may sound. And you're not gonna go home and sit on the couch and, and once you leave school. Okay guys, let's start putting our leisure things away. The Transitions Program, as we run it in the Bellevue School District, is a program that's targeted for our students that are 18 to 21, identified as special needs. Their unique circumstances are different than so many other kids. And by us having the extra three years, it gives them every opportunity to be ready for their post high school world. At work, the mission is to empower people with disabilities and, and help them find meaningful integrated employment within our community. Whether it be cognitive or physical disabilities, we serve everyone in King County that is looking to work. The goal for us is to have students go through the transition program with the help of the at work agency during their third year and when they're ready to graduate have there be kind of this seamless transition into adulthood it's a giant collaboration to empower people leaving school at the age of 21 to be successful we think of it as kind of a classroom without walls circle up there so we know that that's the the students primarily focus on vocational training, what they would need in order to get a job, like soft skills training, and how to advocate for your needs, self-awareness, you know, teamwork, communication skills, and they also do um, life skills, such as cooking, budgeting, shopping. These guys deserve so much credit for what they do. I mean, they built a whole coffee shop just yeah. to assist people with disabilities. Okay, you don't forget to there. It's just basically preparing you for life. So when you get into the real world, you know what to do and not get stuck. Like, how am I supposed to do this? Even though you have a disability, you still gotta learn how to survive. And it also teaches them how to be independent as possible. And erase all the boards if they write something. Connie is dedicated. She's an amazing peer mentor and leader within her classroom. It's coming up perfect. Yeah. I know at the coffee shop she even helped train other students because she's just such a role model. It's made with lots of love, That's too. Right. That is the power of transition. Really empowers them to have work experience. So when it comes to at work placing them, they have an idea and they build up their references. When I first met Connie, I, one of the first things that she said is, I want to work 40 hours a week. <laughs> when you meet someone like that, that's just so willing to work and um, thinking about things much bigger than herself, the only thing you can think about is, what does that process look like for you and how can I help? 
Fortunately, we've got this opportunity. She's working at Salesforce, and it's just the perfect job for her. She gets to greet people. She gets to stock conference rooms and, and just be a very big part of that culture. It was so great to get my first paycheck because it made me feel independent. I want to give back to the people who are struggling. I want to keep inspiring the world with my voice and keep encouraging people. You get to watch someone have so many challenges in their life and then you're watching someone succeed after probably more than one person has told them that you'll never have a job or you'll never do this or that in your life and you're just like, look at us now. It matters, our kids, and the little that we can give, what we get back in return, it's priceless. And I get emotional because it matters. All right. We treat everybody the way we want to be treated. We don't see people for what they have. We see the inside of people and we see their heart. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I would not manage and Connie would not have a future without a transitional program, the artwork people. They have been an amazing, graceful team that have helped Connie and are still helping Connie. So amazing, Grace. <laughs>